Well, Steve, I suppose the, the first thing to, to say is welcome to the Brit Oval. It must, it must be nice to be here finally. Thank you very much. Yeah, it is, it is an absolute pleasure to be here, to be honest with you. I've not been to see the ground for a couple of years now and it looks, it looks beautiful. Yeah, I would have thought you walk in here. It's, it's not a bad place to be to be plying your trade now, is it? No, I mean, it's one of the best, best grounds in the country, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm really pleased to be here. Now, how did it come about? Because obviously it must have been a, a big, big decision for you to, to, to leave Worcestershire. You've been there since you were 11, you've, you've played through all the age groups. It must have been a heck of a decision for Massive you. Massive decision for me and, you know, it was, um, to be honest with you, you know, I had a few counties interested in me, um, but as soon as I spoke to, to, to Grizz and, and Gus, I knew that this is the place I wanted to play. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a big club with big ambition uh, and it's great to be a part of it. Batting-wise for you, a great place to to have the bat in your hand here as well. That must have been, been in your mind as well. I it's a massive pull for me, yeah. Um, you know, I realise now that I want to play for England and to do that I need to be scoring a, a lot of runs, you know, with Matty Pryor doing so well. Um, so obviously the wicket was a, was a massive pull for me and the coaching staff here, you know, Alex Stewart for my keeping and Graham Thorpe for my batting. And obviously Chris Adams was a great leader um, and will manage the team, you know, brilliantly. Um, so yeah, just, just looking forward to it. Yeah, we spoke to Gareth Batty about that. He said working with Ian Swalsbury day in, day out was yeah. one of his big pulls. For you, Alex Stewart, Graham Thorpe, you don't get too better than that, really, do you? Well, there aren't you know, many teams in the country with the coach and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, I'm going to try and make full use of that and work with them as much as I can and hopefully you know, progress my game. Now, you come here at an exciting time. Yes, results last season weren't what everybody wanted, but it's an exciting time to, to be coming to this club, isn't it? Massive ambition. Um, you know, that was, that was the, the biggest thing I got when I was spoke to Chris and Gus. Um, they want to move Surrey um, forward um, and they want to win things. Um, you know, we've got, a, we've got a team of, you know, experience and youth. Um, which is, I think is a good thing. You know, you've got Jordan, Mika, who you know, can bowl quick deliveries and move it around, doing back as well. Then you've obviously got Ramps and Usman, Afsal. Um, so there's a, there's a good blend there. And I think, you know, if we can get a few things sorted, obviously Trawler as well, yeah. um, new signing, um, fantastic spinner. You know, if we can we'll link that all together, I think we'll be, I think we'll do all right. It must make you feel good when you know a club wants you because Surrey wanted you. It must make you feel good to know that you're, you're, you're a big part of the plans for what they want for the future of this club. It is. Um, and, you know, like I said, as soon as I spoke to Surrey, this was the only club I wanted to be at. Mm. Um, and it's, you know, I think Chris Adams is, is a great bloke and so is Gus. They've helped me out. Um, we got the contract sorted straight away. Um, and, yeah, I'm just pleased to be here now. And how well do you know the Surrey lads in, in that dressing room? I wouldn't have thought you, you, you know them that well because, as I say, it's, it's a fairly young side now and yeah. you wouldn't have played against too many of them. I don't know them well at all, to be honest with you. Um, I think we're on the 3rd of November um, for, you know, kit sizings and um, a little bit of training. So that will be the first, the, the first time I'll meet, you know, all of them together. Uh, so looking forward to it. Hey, that must be a good thing, though, to, to, to do that early on in your move, to, to get here now, today, and know you're yeah. back in that first week in November and get to meet the majority of the squad there. Yeah, and with me going away on the 22nd, um, it, it's nice to get a bit of cricket in before, you know, you actually go away so you're not, you're not too rusty. Now, aims for... Stephen Davis, while he's here at Surrey, I know it's a difficult one, but, but, but what are your main aims while you're here at Surrey? To make a difference, um, you know, to win games for Surrey, try and win games for Surrey. Um, you know, like you said, last year it was a poor year. Um, you know, Surrey have gone from winning things to, you know, bottom of both divisions, which is not a good place to be. Um, so, you know, we've made some good signings. Um, and, you know, I just want to make a difference and try and win games so. And, and you hear at the start that Gus Bakai and Chris Adams have talked about the journey that Surrey yeah. are on. They talked about year zero last year. This is year one coming up. Yeah. Important to be there at the start of, of, of that so-called journey, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's better um, than coming in halfway through. Um, you can get a good relationship with the guys, and you know exactly what you know what's going on and stuff. So. You know, fingers crossed it's going to be a good year for Surrey. Now, England-wise, we'll have a proper chat about this before you go, yeah. but England-wise, obviously you had that taste 2020 in the West Indies, then you were called up for the Champions Trophy, the semi-final against Australia. What are your memories of that? Because that was a quick call-up for that, that semi, wasn't it? It was. It was uh, it'll, ha it'll happen quickly. It was um, my last game for Worcester against Sussex uh, in, a, in a big Pro 40 game. You know, Sussex needed to win, and it was halfway through. I'd, I think I'd batted and got 30 on. Um, and then uh, Bumpy, I think Bumpy got the call, and he came in to tell me, and I, you know, I couldn't like, quite believe it. And I thought, you know, okay, I might fly out tomorrow morning or stuff. But it was literally, you know, I had to be at the airport for seven, and the game finished at six. So it, it was a, it was a mad rush, but it was nice to be over there. Now, Test squad as well, must have been delighted the moment that call came up to say, yep, you're going out on the, the full Test Test tour. Over the moon, um, you know, 
you know, I was, you know, out of the two squads, I was probably expecting, you know, a, a one-day call rather than than the test score but they decided to take one keeper on that which is you know their decision was fine um, and you know I got on the test uh, the test score which I was you know delighted about Hell of an opportunity as well isn't it to, to, to go out there as, as sort of I think the, the quote's been understudied to Matt Pry but the, the fact is if you take chances and something happens then then you're in line to, to get a test score Well it just takes one injury doesn't it you know Matty could you know fall over on a, on a ball break a finger you know and I'm, and I'm in there so I've got to be ready uh, and it's you know it's a good chance for me to impress in, in the nets and in all the warm up games or whatever I'm involved in. Final question about Surrey: How much is it for you that you're here now, and you are going to be a big part of that dressing room? You know that that they've they've gone after you, they've got you. Surrey wanted you. Uh, for you as, as Stephen Davis, how important is that that you know that you are going to be a big vocal part of that dressing room for for your career and where you're going from here with England? It's exciting to be honest with you. I think it's something that I needed. You know, more responsibility maybe. Um, you know, Worcester, I think I was pretty comfortable. Um, I didn't have, you know, massive responsibility. But coming to a club like this, and you know, especially first year, you, you need to impress the guys up in that changing room. Mm. You, you know, you've got a lot to prove, um, and you know, you don't want to let Chris Adams down, Gus Mackay, these guys that have, you know, come out and signed you. Um, so you know, th- there's a lot of pressure on me. Um, but you know, I'm looking really excited about it, looking forward to it. I'm not saying refocus because you don't need to because you, you're there or thereabouts at the moment. But just, I, well, I suppose it is probably the right word, isn't it? Coming to a new club does j- just refocus you. Oh, definitely, it is a new focus, and you know, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm what I'm doing and what I know. But you know, I want to impress those guys in the changing room, uh, and you know, they've come out there and you know, approached me. They wanted to sign me, you know, make me a part of this 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 club and you know where it's going and stuff so yeah I'm looking forward to that.